So much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two year period plus that I've been doing this. Um, thank you for showing your uh, love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel. Also, you can do it by way of Patreon, Anchor, the clothing store, and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below. And again, thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you former nba player adrian payne was shot and killed in orlando over a domestic dispute where he was simply trying to play peacemaker the girlfriend of the late nba player stated that he was simply trying to stop a physical violence altercation from happening between a woman and a man quote Payne's girlfriend, whose name has been redacted, had her version of the events relayed in the Orange County, Florida affidavit for arrest warrant of Lawrence Doherty, who admitted to the shooting but pled not guilty to first degree murder. According to the documents, Payne's girlfriend, who asked to come to Doherty's residence by Doherty's girlfriend, Tatiana Mesa. Payne's girlfriend stated that Doherty and Mesa argued often and Payne's girlfriend had previously served as a mediator to prevent physical violence. Doherty stated that she was in a relationship with a woman named Tara, a friend of Mesa. Doherty stated that he returned home that night to find Payne outside of the residence. Doherty stated that he saw the shape of the gun under Payne's shirt and Payne said, I'll smoke you, bruh. Doherty then stated that Payne who was listed as 6 foot 10, 237 pounds in the NBA, looked intimidating due to his size. Doherty then went inside of his home, got his gun, and then shot Payne. Doherty called 911 and stated that a man tried to come in his home and shot him. Then he stated that he shot the man. Doherty has been arrested on a warrant for first degree murder. According to Orange County Sheriff's Department, Payne was unarmed when he was shot and killed by Doherty. He was just 31 years old. So this is the thing that never gets talked about whenever we hear about uh, domestic disputes or incidences, right? You never hear of the fact that whenever women, you know, in a sense, put themselves in these situations, uh, by selecting the wrong types of guys, right, to be interested in or to be with, they never state, or women in general never state, that you have guys who will come to bat for women who will be there to defend them and, you know, just be that bodyguard. And they're the ones that end up losing their lives, right? And when these men lose their lives, you're not going to hear women on social media trying to raise up their names, uh, trying to make videos about them or any of these things. Right. It's going to go back to what guys don't protect women. Right. That, that's what it's going to go down to. That's what it's going to boil down to at the end of the day. And the main thing I'm saying is this. Right. This was a good man. Right. He was just 31. A young guy. Right. Still had his life ahead of him, still had many more miles than he could have done. A, a variety of things affected a lot of people's lives in a very great way. And he could have done a multitude of other things. But because he wanted to be the good guy, because he wanted to do the right thing, because he wanted to sit up there and try to defend a woman. What did that cost him? That cost him everything that cost him everything. At no point in time can he ever get his life back. But all the people that were involved, they still have their lives. They're still able to breathe. They still can, uh, you know, visit and see their families. They can still celebrate birthdays. They can still uh, go to holidays, take trips, whatnot or whatever. They can still speak. They can still talk. He can't. How many people do you think that are realistically a part of that situation that are going to uplift and to keep his name alive how many of them do you think are going to try to use his name and, and and hoist it right in a positive light so that other people can know uh the type of good guy right that he was because the main thing that i've understood and i've always understood is that you know realistically nobody really remembers the good guys Right. Whenever you have guys like this who will risk their life 
for a woman or for women out here none of those women realistically remember those guys right they'll continue on about their life they'll you know have other boyfriends they'll uh get married they'll have kids right they'll live a long life those women are not going to go to that guy's grave site right every single birthday every single holiday or during his you know maybe possibly his kids you know birthday they're not going to do that that's not going to be something that they're going to be doing from now all the way up until the end of time they're not going to do that why because at the end of the day everybody is selfish but within being selfish right you still have people that feel that okay i might be selfish but you should still be selfless enough to you know sacrifice or to give your life or to protect right me i'm not going to do anything for it nor should i have to but i expect or it, it should be expected of you as a man to do this and note the fact that nobody's going to celebrate you nobody's going to care nobody's going to uplift your name nobody's going to really try to talk about you positively or or try to carry on your name right but just know that you know you gave your life and that's it so when guys literally tell people that the world doesn't care about men and especially the good men that are out here that are doing the things that quote unquote the world and others ask of them this is what men are talking about because like I said before, there have been countless videos of men doing the exact same thing, if not more, in order to protect a woman's life. And you don't see women out there really caring or even batting an eye. But they'll make sure to always focus on, right, the guys who are not doing this, not doing that, and not doing this. But they'll never sit up there and put any type of positive spotlight on guys like this.